my dahlias have just arrived in the post and so I can plant them up and um, it's very very easy to do once you've seen it once um, you, you'll never need to worry about it so I've got a three litre pot and I find particularly with the bigger dahlia tubers you really need a decent sized pot and I've got here um, a non-peak based multi-purpose potting compost and then here you can see what I mean about needing a big pot because you've got this wayward tuber coming right off like this I always think they remind me of um, a bunch of salamis or sausages hanging in a butcher or a delicatessen and um, they're sort of always very sort of mad looking things anyway they all all that needs to happen is that the tubers just need to get in contact with moisture because in spring they want to start to grow so you just tuck them in to a pot and that wayward tube is not doing me any favours but it doesn't matter if the central stem is a bit off to one side and then you all you do is literally cover so that the stump is just about at soil level which is exactly where it would have been grown in the propagating field and so you don't bury them deeply I think that's one of the mistakes that people tend to think they need to do you don't need to do that and then just uh, shove a label on the side and that's important uh, particularly if you're planting out lots of different varieties you may want to date when you planted it but you, you don't really need to so I can then just pop that onto the bed with the capillary matting and the horticulture electric blanket just give it a water and leave it for about normally starts into growth depending on the year I mean it's April now so real growth is really on now and so I would expect to see that sh shooting in two to three weeks but if I planted them in March it could be six or seven weeks before I saw any shoots obviously if you don't have a polytunnel like this then a greenhouse is perfect particularly if you've got a little bit of basil heat anywhere but it's not essential or a window ledge you know in your kitchen just keep the pots moist not dripping wet at all often it's a good idea to have them sitting on a tray of grit so they can absorb water when they want to that acts just like capillary matting so a bit of light a little bit of warmth but even a cold shed is fine as long as you've got some top light perhaps in a potting shed or anything and uh, just keep them frost free that's the only thing